We did see Lucy yesterday. She was on the couch, remember? Kat said. Yeah, we did. I was wondering where she so where she saw little bears replied. I guess this is where Emily puts Lucy when she goes to college. I suppose so. But look at the view from the me window, Avil said. Little Bear can see a city park not far from Emily's house. It is a beautiful and big park. They also got some houses in the city. There were also people walking down the streets. This city is bigger than we thought, Dax said. Yeah, I wonder what it was like for Emily to live in the city, Little Bear thought. Meanwhile, back at Woodland, Mother Bear and Father Bear were out looking for Little Bear and his friends. They had been searching everywhere for them, but so far they had no luck. They were in the safe house in the distance. The house where was Grandmother and Grandfather Bear's house, so they decided to head in that direction. Maybe they have seen Little Bear and his friends. Grandfather Bear sadly died a few years ago due to old age, so Grandmother Bear has been by herself since then. But since she's alive and doing well, surprisingly for her age, she headed towards the door and opened it. She was greeted by her daughter and her husband. Mother and Father Bear, what a surprise! Grandmother Bear said, inviting her daughter and her husband into the house. Once Mother Bear and Father Bear sat down on the couch in the living room, Grandmother Bear made some tea and brought out cookies with it. What brings you two here today? We're looking for Little Bear and his friends. We haven't seen them in a few days, Mother Bear replied. I searched everywhere yesterday, but I couldn't find them. So we both headed out, and so far I haven't found them. Do you happen to see them? Father Bear asked. I'm afraid not. He hasn't come in a long time. Perhaps he's gone somewhere, Grandmother Bear said. He could have wandered into the wild country. Why don't we check there after tea? Mother Bear suggested. You made a good point, dear. I guess we could look there, Mother Father Bear said, agreeing with his wife's decision. I just hope Little Bear gets home safely, even though he's old enough to take care of himself. I worry about him too, Grandmother Bear said. I'll keep an eye out for him just in case if he comes here. Thank you, Grandmother Bear. That'll be very helpful, Father Bear replied. Back in the city, Emily took Little Bear and her friends to the park near her house. It had a huge playground, meaning that there were a lot of people that come to the park often. You guys could play in this park. I'll join in a bit, Emily said, tying her laces on her shoes. As Emily ran into the park with Little Bear and his friends, they all began to play together, like back at Woodland many years ago. However, near a cargo truck at the other side of the park, two men were inside the truck watching them. So those creatures are Emily's friends, eh? One of them spoke. Yeah, I've heard rumors about them from college in the city, the other replied. The cat, along with the duck and the chicken, will be perfect for the meat markets in Asia, the older man said. He was in his 40s. How much do you think will be making at sending them there? The younger one asked. He was in his late 20s. I have no idea, Barney, but imagine if we made hundreds or thousands of dollars beyond selling them. We could make so much of that. I, Patrick Starling, will be rich, Patrick stated. We just need to catch them when the next ship comes. When's that? Barney asked. The next ship will be here in a few weeks. It is almost full with the other crates, Patrick replied before driving off. As they disappeared, Little Bear and Emily were on the bench talking. Will you return to Woodland after you graduate from college? Little Bear asked. I'm considering doing so, but I can't guarantee if that will be the case, Emily answered. We all missed you back at home. You can always visit the city, Owl said, joining them in the convo with the rest of Little Bear's friends. That's true, but like I said, I'll think about it, Emily responded. She means that Mitzi was then began before Kat cut her off. She means she'll consider it. It's meaning it's not a yes or a no answer this time, Kat replied. The park is so amazing. It's like we're back at Woodland all over again, Little Bear stated, seeing how busy it was getting now. The park is going to get busy. I'm seeing the younger kids are off from school now, Hen said. I think it's time we head for a restaurant. Do you? I know where there's a lot of food to eat at. You'll all like them. We're also going to meet up with a friend of mine from college, Emily said, getting up from the bench and walking to her house. I wonder what the restaurant is we'll be going to or something, Nofit wondered. Not sure, but we better head over to Emily's house. I hope her friend from college is nice, 
Little Bear replied. I'm sure he or she is nice, and I wonder what this friend's name is. Hen said, while wondering who Emily's friend is, as Little Bear and his friends headed for Emily's house, there was a woman around Emily's age. She had black hair with blue eyes, and she appeared to have a gift bag of presents for someone. She could be one of Emily's friends, but there was no way of knowing if she saw or not. Little Bear and his friends were very confused. They were unsure of of who she saw until Emily walked out with her doll Lucy in hand. The two met up at the gate of Emily's front yard to her house. The two girls shared a hug. I'm so glad you came by, Chanel. These gifts are lovely, Emily said, taking the gift bag from Chanel, then turned her attention towards her friends. Little Bear, I want you and your friends to meet my best friend. Her name is Chanel. Nice to meet you, Chanel, Little Bear said, shaking Chanel's hand as the others did so. Little Bear is who Emily was talking to me about, and you all must be friends. Emily's talked to me about you all, Chanel replied, greeting Little Bear and his friends. Well, it is nice to see a new face, Hen said. I've known Emily for a few years. When she lived with her granny, I was hoping to come and visit her, but due to stuff going on in my end of the city, I didn't have much time to do so, Chanel said. I wish you'd come back to Woodland to see us, Little Bear replied. It should have been nice to see you back then. I went to the school with Emily when I, when she was younger, and now we're both going to college together, Chanel said. Say, there is a pizza joint. I can order a pizza to have it delivered to Emily's house. How do you all feel about pizza? It'll be better than going out. I like pizza, Owl said, liking the idea. Mm, that sounds good to us, Cat added. Can we pick the toppings? Duck asked. Of course you all can. Let's head inside. I had Emily's house and then order the pizza, Chanel replied. As she, along with Emily and her animal friends, headed inside of Emily's house, they ordered pizza for themselves for dinner, to which they picked all the to toppings they liked and loved on their pizza. Later on that night, a suspicious-looking truck that was a cargo truck was parked not far from Emily's house. With everyone had already gone to bed, Patrick and Barney were watching the house. That's the house where Emily lives, and that's where the animals that she's friends with are now here, Patrick stated. Will the ship be back in time to catch them? Barney asked. Of course it will, you pinhead. The cat along with the chicken and duck will be on our list, Patrick replied. How can we catch them? Barney questioned. We'll lure them to the dock sometime tomorrow, and as soon as one of them shows up, we'll grab them and put them in the crates one by one. Then we could send them off to be traded off as food at the meat market. Patrick chuckled evilly, knowing that the phase one of his plan was in progress. They soon drove off and away from their house, so they can have time to prepare for them to strike their attack on Little Bear's friends. Not knowing when that will be, but it will sure be a surprise that they will at least not expect it.